Hello, I have returned, and thus this means it is time for the boss hunt, because I promised y'all a boss hunt, so I've pulled up my notes when I was away on break so that I have an idea of what sort of party to put together, and uh, we shall we shall see how this goes, which would be very helpful if I could, you know, get myself onto the game screen. Thank you. Now, there is a, a change or two that I'm going to make here because while the thing recommends a crus like the notes that I have are all for the base game. Uh, and But instead of taking a crusader, I think I'm going to take a Templar. Uh, it's just a question of which one. Uh, Kronos does come immediately to mind, because despite the anemia, that Eldritch and Unholy Slayer I think will come in extremely useful, and I don't think any of the other Templars have quite that combination. Although Thibaut here does have Slugger, which tempting. And Fekhemp here is an Eldritch Slayer and a Manslayer, but Nocturnal. Uh, not really the best. Also Gothic. Uh, I think we're going to be taking Kronos on this one. So Kronos, get in there. I know that you've already been to the ruins today, but you're going back. Have fun with this. And then, for the second one in row, my notes say Shield Breaker, and I think that is an awesome idea. So, which one of you three is going to be coming along here? Evasive and Unholy Hater, and a Ruins Adventurer. Oh, Lors is looking really good for this. Uh, Griffin is Corvid's Grace, Luminant, and a Twilight Dreamer. Ooh. Ooh. But marked by the flock, which is a little dangerous. Still, hmm. And Montgomery here is an Eldritch Slayer and a Man Hater. Hmm. Who also happens to be hard skinned? Oh, I'm I'm having a hard time choosing between Griffin and Montgomery here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. amounts of dodge and just bypasses stealth as a thing? Or... Uh, you know what, let's, let's take Montgomery. Let's take Montgomery. Get in there. Okay, so the third spot... They're recommending a Plague Doctor, a Grave Robber, or an Occultist. I kind of like the idea of the Grave Robber because she can reach everywhere. Uh, where... where? Or I could take an... Exterminator. Hmm. Now, they're only really good if the things are in the first two rows and the Necromancer Lord kind of hides in the back. Uh. Hmm. Unless I, I take the Soothsayer, but I'd really much rather take somebody who can do Blight damage. Uh, let's see, my here has an Eagle Eye, Fairweather Fighter, Natural, Ruins Adventure, and Wheel Tactician, and Hydart is a Deadly, Deadly Manslayer. 
Wait, uh, Griffin. Oh, right. Mo you're Montgomery. You're not marked by the flock. Okay. Uh, hmm. The natural thing is going to be a little... Yeah, let's, let's take my... I'll have to remember to adjust her skills, probably. And then we want a Vestal. For this, the Vestal is the best. So we're going to find the first Vestal on the list who looks like she'll be good. Hmm, Eldritch Hater, but a fear of mankind. Hmm. Evasive and luminous, so lots, lots of dodge. Uh, more dodge, more prismatic isolation. Oh, more debuff resist, okay. Favored by the iron jar. Tough. Spiritual with advanced medical training. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's let's take Omand here. I I like the idea of this massive amount of dodge that she's got going on. Into the party with you. Okay, that's that's looking good. Let's go and make sure everybody's skills are are looking as good as the party. Okay, Omand, you have plenty. Uh, your equipment is maxed. Are your skills maxed? Probably. Yes. Okay. Don't gotta worry about you. Scrolling, 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 scroll. Okay, Montgomery. Your skills are maxed. Your equipment is maxed. You have four camping skills. Uh, let's see. My... You also have four camping skills. Your equipment is maxed, and so are your skills. And then, Kronos. We already, we already did you. We already did you earlier this evening. We don't gotta worry about you. Alright. Going after the Necromancer Lord. Gonna not die, hopefully. All right, let's give everybody trinkets. Now, I I do not have a great love for the uh, Vestal trinkets. I, I don't think they're very good, to be honest. They're kind of... I mean, the Sacred Stroll probably... It's a pity about the stun chance and the damage, but... Maybe I should give her a head. I think maybe giving her Junia's head is the best plan here. Let's see. Like, th this one reduces stress by 10, and this one increases stress by 20. So, uh, that brings her to a net of plus 10, I think. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. Have a head, so you can get ahead. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure about giving her Wolf's Tassel. Uh, dodge, accuracy for range skills, and plus, okay, okay, I like, I like that. Let's give her the, the Lucky Talisman. We will not be nerfing her dodge for more blight chance. Uh, just plain old speed. Uh, the question here is... 
target marking. I don't believe I have the ability to mark targets with this party, which is a pity, really, but... Well, uh, let's, let's see here. Healing, stress healing, plus 10 stress taken. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 25% healing, 30% healing. Hmm. Because these two, these two cancel each other out if I use them. Admittedly, I don't use my Vestal to stress heal, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna switch out the ancestor scroll for Junia's head, and now Junia's head is in the wrong place, and that's gonna bother me. So, um, can I can I put it can I put it back in the I cannot put it back in the right place. Thank you. That's that's so unhelpful. Let's see, squirming milk gland. That's for if the torch is low. Dodge at the cost of taking more stress. We're already dodging at the cost of taking more stress. Uh, we want to maybe uh, not take more stress than we're already taking. Uh, hmm. We could give we could give her the things mesmerizing eye for greater crit chance. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's increase your crit. Okay, and for our shield breaker, the one shield breaker trinket that I have in this place, because none of my shield breakers had any nightmares, and it's terrible. But, you know, more HP, more damage, blight skill chance. And then, hmm, there, there is a head for blight, I think. Uh, restoration amount, blight resist, oh, 20% extra stress, but you do blight on every hit. Um, maybe not. That's a lot of stress. Um, extra dodge. Uh... Hmm, surprise chance. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're we're gonna dodge mania. Dodge mania up in this thing. Okay, and then the Templar shiz. It is very tempting to take the Divine Book just for the stress relief. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take the Divine Book just for the stress relief. Um... And the Seal of Martyrdom. Yeah, this, this feels good. This feels, this feels like we might have a chance with this. Okay, skill check. Templar, yes. Shield breaker. Uh, pierce. Okay, forward, back, back, back. Oh, well, that's, hmm. Uh, 
You know what? What if I replace impale with puncture? And that way I have two forward and two back skills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay. Grave robber. We have pick to the face. Flashing daggers. Throne dagger. Poison dart. I don't want lunge. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think this is the way. I think this is the way, yes. And here on our Vestal, Vestals don't actually have... They don't have stress relief skills. So, I wonder why they have... Yeah, well... Let's not think too hard about it, shall we? Okay, so everything's looking like I want it here. <sighs> okay, let's provision and go. All right, all the food, everything, all of everything. Take some keys. Um... all the torches. I debate about, you know, taking the other three laudanum, but I think, I think with the Templar's stress relief skill thing that I have from the trinket, that we might be able to ride, uh, we might be able to ride. So, uh, oh, this is stressful. Okay, let's go. brought my colleagues back with much of their intellect intact. A remarkable triumph for even the most experienced necromancer. Freed from the trappings of their humanity, they plied their terrible trade anew. The dead reviving the dead on and on down the years. Forever. And that's why the place is permanently infested now. It's your fault. It's all your fault. It's always your fault. A devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Shut up, ancestor. Oh, man. Okay, so it is guaranteed that the necromancer is in the furthest room. The problem here is, which one is the furthest room? Uh, there, there are, there's three candidates. So I'm gonna pray for, for some good scouts, is what I'm gonna have to do. Forward! Why okay. Why stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Extra shovel. Always nice to see an extra shovel. Oh, a ghoul, and he brought a little torch-eating friend. Destroyed. Whee! I like that. That's awesome. Oh, the torch could be brighter. The torch could be brighter. Oh, thank you for dodging. Whew. Okay, now it's blighted, so the thrown dagger should do extra damage to it. <gasps> That was nice. Thank you. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. 
That purpose is made clear. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, okay, I can work with this. This is workable. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So, uh, the possibility is that the necromancer could be in either of these bottom rooms. Or he could be in the one that is all the way over to the left. Because it's the same number of rooms to get to any of those. So I'm gonna try going down, and I'm gonna pray for a good scout. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Ancestor, I hate you so much. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. So close, and yet so far. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Cool, 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 cool. Some plague for you, sir. Oh, thanks. I hate it. Eradicated. That that was a nice crit. Let's expose him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Uh, the lack of scout is really getting to me here. I'm this room and the one that is all the way over to the left are the most likely options. So. Oh, thank you for dodging. A fortune. Oh, thanks. Waiting to be spent. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Um. If we can stun her, that the would light, be. Oh. The promise of safety. Or we could just crit her in the face. That is also a possibility. Watcha! Continue the onslaught. Nice. Oh. Oh, that that ain't good. How about some exposure? Everybody wants some exposure, right? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 
Okay. Healing for you. He heals the other's stress, but he doesn't heal his own. That's interesting. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, I would rather have the emeralds... Uh, sapphire... Why do I keep calling them emeralds? I'd rather have the sapphires than the busts. I don't care about this sarcophagus. I want... Oh, thank you! I guessed correctly. There he is. Just sitting there, waiting for me. All right, camp time. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay, we feast. Uh, we relieve stress off of the Templar somehow. Uh, but first... Uh, let's see. Sanctuary heals mortal mortality debuffs. Uh, didn't you have something that... No. No, you, you don't have... Okay, you're, you're the only one. Alright, Sanctuary! Okay, then we need... Okay, a chant, one companion, less stress taken for four battles, and also my- okay, I'm pretty sure Templars are, re are religious. He's got 45 stress. Okay, one chant for you. Okay, now he's got 28 stress. What else can we do? Uh... Self, oh no, 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 uh, uh, let's see here, I would really like to use snake eyes, but that means that I can only put one in courage on the Templar, which is, you know what, I think, I think I can live with that. My, be encouraging. Chin up, dearie. Your fashion sense alone could fell an army. <gasps> that is quite a compliment. Okay, so uh, we're going to give everybody snake eyes. Because, well, the Templar doesn't actually have armor piercing. And uh, Mai only has armor piercing with the, with the uh, pickaxe. So I think that might be the best choice. The other choice would, of course, be snakeskin, which is just for herself. But I think giving armor piercing to the Templar is going to serve me way better. So, snake eyes. For everybody. Everything has a weakness. Alright, have a nice snooze. We're going after the Necromancer in the morning. Rations will carry us, thank the gods. Oh, the rations will do more than carry us. Or... Okay, let me just get stuff readjusted here. I'm not putting them in... Well, they're... I'm putting them in, in order in a way, but not, not a true order. Okay. And the best part is that there is no battle in this hallway. I mean, the, the Templar is still a little hurt. I can fix that. I will fix that when we get there, but... Okay, the shovel. Stone seems bent on preventing passage. A bookshelf we're not going to bother with. Empty, 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 empty. Okay, here we are. Kronos, have a little nibble. Now you're at full. Everybody take some holy water. I don't know exactly what holy water does. 
Oh, oh, that's what it does. Okay, that's good. Okay, and torches up, In all the way up. Victory. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare-made material. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a. Uh... The ground quakes. Good start. Good start. I I. Mm. <laughs> yeah, his stun resist is pretty massive. Let's just uh, hit him with some judgment. She got stress relief. If she actually had stress. Oh. Slightest lapse in concentration. Where'd you get that skeleton, man? Where where'd you where'd you I think I think our best bet is to just keep stacking the blight. Oh, good crit, very good crit. Let's throw a dagger at him. Precision and power. Oh, they're critting like maniacs. Oh, he's getting further away. Comfort for everybody. Can still just reach him though. <sighs> He's gonna summon one more dude and I won't be able to reach him anymore. But until then. Oh, oh, thanks. Yeah, that's. Wait. No, oh, nine. Okay, uh. Well, let's hit him with a reckoning. He's still blighted, so <gasps> with no living sinew. My will these walking bones finally fail? Oh. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. I have no complaints, but I'm also extremely startled. That was just a really lucky series of crits there. Super lucky series of crits. Well, I have no other interest in this dungeon, so I'm just gonna turn in the band-aids. Let's go home. That was way easier than it should have been. Come on. All right, I could have turned in a bunch of the heirlooms. Oh well. I got the necromancer's collar. <laughs> Okay, Montgomery has become marked by the flock and has become an eldritch slayer, replacing the hard skinned. Oh, that's sad but also good at the same time. And Mai has become a meditator, replacing her wield tacticianless. <laughs> okay. Back to town with everybody. The plume and the pistol. A fitting end to my folly. And a curse upon us all. Yeah, once again, your fault, your problem. Why do I have to fix it? Okay, um, now that I've been passive aggressive at my ancestor a bit more, let's see here. Gand engaged in pleasures of the flesh and recovered 100 stress. 
Mustel blacked out and misplaced a cinnamon ornament. That's not even one of your trinkets, man. But I think I had... Oh, wait, I only had the one, didn't I? Well, at least he's no longer selfish, I guess. Garanin prayed and recovered 100 stress. Watered meditated and recovered 70 stress. Bonifant, Monfiquet, and Bluette have all gone through their appropriate treatments. The only thing that I have left in the ruins is the Gibbering Prophet, and I'm definitely not going after him right away. Ooh, lord, no. Progress. Progress! <clears throat> uh, okay, the Cinnamon Tani ornament was a monk ornament. I think. Where's the monk stuff? Where is the monk stuff? Um... I don't remember where the monk stuff is. It can't possibly be this far down. I must have I must have gone past it somehow. What is the like uh, the gourd? The gourd it's right up at the top. And the ornament that was misplaced was the only one that we had. Great. Way to go. Everything else we have multiples, but not that. That's, that's, um, actually, let's uh, make sure here. Yeah, it is gown, gowners. It should have been right there. Uh, That is very unfortunate. Unless I can buy another one from the Nomad Wagon. Nope, there isn't one in here. Uh, I mean, I have a whole bunch of crystals. I could maybe go shopping in here again, but... I don't know. Well, let's start with the stagecoach this time. Let's see, I need a butcher and a houndsmaster. We have bounty hunter, stargazer, falconer, milkmaid, milkmaid, buried, and harlot. Still not, not what I'm looking for. Okay, so we don't have to send anybody to stress relief this week because that fight went freakishly well. So let's just check the list. Who is next? Mustel, Bounty Hunter Mustel again. You're the one who lost me trinkets. I don't know why I'm helping you. But the Plutomania and the Satanophobia really need to go. Uh, we're gonna start with the Plutomania, I think. Where's my pen? There it is. Okay, check off the Plutomania. And get rid of that. And then the Butcher Geese card. Oh, you were a perfectionist, but you aren't anymore, and for some reason that didn't get locked off this list. Okay, no more perfectionism there. Uh, Exterminator Contour. We don't have an exterminate. Oh, wait, Exterminator, not Exorcist. The Contour. You are a nervous bleeder. That's a problem for me. So we're going to take care of that. You already have stuff locked in, so we're all fine there. And Flagellant Louvet. Where are ya? Where are ya? Not Louvet, Louet. 
Flagellant Luet with a U. Your nightmare patientness is going away. Uh, and we're going to lock in your fatedness because I like that idea. I'm sure you feel all sorts of feelings about that. So we'll... You're gonna be a better person. Don't worry about what's in that syringe. Okay. More blankets? No, fewer blankets? Uh, well, I I understand you're 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 a you're a difficult patient, sir. We are not going to be going after the drowned crew when the thing from the stars is creeping around the cove. However, I see this uh, gather ancestors relics here. Admittedly, I believe I already have the deceiver's headband. But I think doing a medium mission gives me a better chance of finding the thing than doing a short mission. So I finally escaped the ruins! And I'm going someplace else where it's mostly blight damage. So... Uh, we're going to scoot down here. Scoot, 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 scoot. Too far. Dr. Ark. You are coming on this mission. Where where are you going to stand? Are you going to stand right in the back? I think you're going to stand right in the back. Back row for you, doctor. Um Once again, not the best place to take a jester or I would take Orlebar too. Uh, not a good place to take a Houndsmaster, so Rusty gets to uh, have their feet up a bit longer. Uh, I have already chosen a back line, so all of these lower level archers are SOL. Don't want to put Buran in the second row. I believe we're going to be taking Sacreville, who is a cove explorer and pious. You're gonna have fun there. You're gonna have so much fun there, you're gonna want to die. Uh, who to put up front is the question. All, all of my frontliners are fully leveled, but I haven't actually... I haven't played with my man-at-arms for ages. Let's see, do either of you have feelings about the cove? Uh, let's see, you do not have any specific feelings about the cove. Oh, but you are scientific. Whereas you... You do not have any strong feeling. Okay, we're taking Adenel. Get in there. And somebody in this party gets extra healing. Ah, uh, yeah, Sacreville gets extra healing from Vestals. So we'll be taking one of the Vestals with us. Doesn't really matter which one. Actually, maybe we should take Retuil. She isn't fully leveled yet. She does not have any strong feelings about the cove, so she seems like an excellent choice. And if we have her in the third spot, we can actually have her illuminate. Yeah, I think, I think that is a good plan. I like that plan. It's a plan of, of vigor. I know you're restless, Brituil. That's why I'm bringing you. Okay. Let's go massage some skills. Okay, you have four camping skills. You have maximum equipment, but do you have maximum every other skill? Yes, you do. Okay. We'll move up to Dr. Ark. Oh, oh, you, oh. 
Don't worry, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. We're fixing it. It's getting fixed. We're making it better, Doctor. There we go. Okay, and camping skills. You have three. See, this is why I check these things. Let's see. One companion heal. Self cure disease. One companion takes less stress. Actually, we're going to take encouragement. That seems like a good plan. Yes. Looking good. Scroll, 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 scrolling forever. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Sacreville. You have three camping skills. Okay, what else can we give you? Uh, tracking, planned takedown. Uh, hmm. You know what? Encouragement. Can never go wrong with some encouragement. You're. Okay, that's maximum that it can be. This is a situation that I will fix. There we go. Alright, one more individual. I'm pretty sure that Adonel is already taken care of fully, but we're just going to make sure. Okay, maximum skills, maximum equipment. Four camping skills. Okay, we're good. Off we go again. No, not the drowned crew. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, I want to use this blueprint. Uh, the question is... Yeah, actually, it's not a question. We're going to be spending it on the racetrack because that benefits two classes, whereas the performance hall only benefits one. So, I, I've pretty much built almost everything that I can build. I don't actually care about the geologic study hall. It means nothing to me. I do want the mill, but that's a different currency entirely. So... It will be the racetrack today. Not that we're bringing a Houndsmaster or a Rescuer on this mission, but if I don't remember to do this... There we go. Scourging Curios heal five stress. Interesting. I don't know what Scourging Curios are. But it doesn't matter. Okay. We are going to gather Ancestor's Relics. Let's trinket. Okay, so I, I definitely have to fight the Shrieker the next time it shows up. So I'm going to make a note here. I'm going to say Shrieker. Yes. With a bracket of... Missing trinkets so that I remember to attack the nest and not the bird. Okay, uh, back to trinketing people. Uh, where, where's your, where's your stuff? There's your stuff. Okay, ashen distillation, of course. And, you know, I didn't actually use the stun skill at all last time I did, but maybe I'll remember to this time. Here, have the, have the witch's vial. How vile. Okay, uh... Okay, where is... Ah, there we are. Okay. Uh... We'll give you the sacred scroll for healing. And I mean, do we do we do the the uh, ancestors scroll again? 
I don't, like, why, why did, oh, because this isn't a Vestal-specific trinket, that's why. Okay, now it makes more sense. Hmm. No, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna... We're going after the thing. Let's let's try not to carry extra stress. We'll just take the scroll and the Churgeon's charm. And that'll be nice. And then Sacreville. You get Volt's Tassel. And what was the bounty hunter trinket I've been using tonight? I think it was well, that's, that's scouting chance. Hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? Take the, take the scouting chance. And then, man-at-arms. Let's see. Protection if in rank 4. He, okay, that's all, that's all rank 4. Uh, move skill chance. Extra stun chance at the cost of damage. No. Uh, extra HP at the cost of speed. He's already so slow. And he's got extra HP already. Is he... Was he a natural? No, he's just like that. Okay. Uh, dodge at the cost of stun and move resist. I don't like any of these. What if I gave you the Ancestor's Pen? What if I did that? It is extra stress, which is a concern, but... Uh... You know what, we're gonna take the thing's mesmerizing eye for you, uh, for the crit chance, because I think that could be very funny. I think that could be hilarious. Okay. Feeling good, looking good, running a bit of low level here, which could be uh, terrifying, but... Okay, Adonel, it's your job to keep everybody alive. You understand that, right? Okay. Let's provision. Food, shovels, all the other stuff. Holy water, laudanum. Some keys, torches, uh, anything else? No, no, I think, I think that's, that's everything, I think. I believe. We have to remember to keep herbs in the inventory. We do not run out of herbs, and that way the Dr. Ark is at, is at their best. <laughs> okay. Off we go. Finally, a place that isn't the ruins. Recover these lost shipments of rarities, that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. There are no less scrupulous hands than mine. What are you talking about? Okay, that is a just a room battle. Curio, curio. Okay, we don't even need to go that way. We're not going to go that way. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go upward. Oh, dang. That's hella lucky. Okay, let's see. Dacmania resolution, bad healer. Marked by the flock, locked in. Bad gambler, bloodthirsty, and hero mania. And no problems whatsoever. Okay, so it's going to be Bretuil here because she has the most problems and they're all locked in. So let me just make a note here. Bretuil is a vestal. Minus, minus something. Rub it with herb. 
bad gambler. Uh, not the one that I would have chosen, but... But it's gone. But the thing about this game is that I don't get to choose. I don't get to choose anything. A blazing star is born. Okay, and that's also a curio and a trap. You are the trap person, I'm pretty sure. 80, 70, 60, 60 yeah, you. Good luck! Nice. As a reward, you can go through that empty pack. In Radiance, may we find victory. Please, Scout. Please, Scout. Oh, thank you. Okay, we've got two hallway battles. Curio, Curio, empty room. Curio, battle, quest location. Hmm. I choose to go... Because I'm looking for the thing from the stars, I am going after the hallway battles. Uh, which does mean, you know, more roundabouting. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, thing? You're not the thing! Alright, illuminate. Plague! Come up front where we all can see you. Uh, no, not Rampart. Retribution. Good. Well, that's just rude. Anybody injured besides the bounty? No, no, no. Okay. I would very much appreciate if you would stop that. Also, did you know you have bounty on your head? The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Does this clear debuffs? No, no it doesn't. But it does, it does cure bleeding. Let's keep the retribution going. More blight, because why not? Dodged. I'm sad that even with Wolf's Tassel, that's what's happening. A nice crit. Well done, Doctor. And purpose. Comfort for everybody. 
Their cursed champion falls. Nice. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, that was the first battle. We're still looking at some very nice light going on. What do we got? Thing? Thing! Crystalline bulk. Okay, let's see. What does this do? Uh, it also gives less... Okay, alright. The way is lit. The path is clear. Debuff for you. Only the strength to follow it. Retribution for you. Plague. Fun. Uh, it's it's not worth it to mark for death. He sheds the marks too quickly. It's it's just a waste of a turn. We're just we're just gonna hit him outright. He's a size two. The Volf's tassel will make up for not having the mark. my Vestal. Oh, that's not good. A devastating blow. That, that was a good crit. Dodge! Thank you for dodging. from our lands. Okay, we've reached the point of nibbling at the damage now. Gross. Good crits, good crits. Oh. Executed with impunity. Oh, dude. Okay. I do wish the return to the stars actually counted as an attack so that it would set off the repost. Dodged. Back to the pit. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're making progress. <laughs>
Good time for a crit. Oh, it dodged. Oh, it's dodging so much. Be gone, fiend. Chip, 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 chip. Honestly, the blight damage is, is doing the best out of all of this. Oh, thank goodness the Vorpal Strike missed. Bill! Destroyed and someday. It's the blight did it. The blight won the day for us. Dr. Ark, you've done it. And we got a memory. Oh, that's awesome. That is worth the stress. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I know y'all hate it. I know y'all hate it. There's method in the madness, I swear. We didn't need to do that entire hallway, I promise. Oh, it's Talon. Oh boy. Oh, we're so lucky. Okay, uh, you, you get to have Band-Aid. We're gonna use a As torch because I'd rat- oh, Spirits you know are lifted, what? and purpose is made clear. to the light. Ow. <gasps> Reeling. About to break. How quickly the tide turns. Okay, first things first. We need to get that archer out of there, I think. And we definitely need to get retribution going, although it's going to be that's that's gonna be a rough one. If we can get this archer, yeah, yeah, there we go. Death waits for the slightest lapse. That's in that's actually that's good. This is, this is actually good. We it's getting very iffy. Oh. Oh, uh, mm, thanks. Uh. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Formation is broken. Okay, that's Maintain one source defensive. of AoE taken out of the picture. Inspiration and improvement. Blast it. No. As life ebbs, not Sacraville. Oh emptiness no. Reveal themselves. And they're selfish. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, Lordy. Band aid. Five. Okay. Do I? I don't actually have the stun equipped on this character. I should, I should probably do something about that. 
Probably. Oh, perfect timing for a crit heal. No, don't shank them. And now the true test. Shite. Hold fast or expire. And there goes Adenel, who is now abusive. Frustration and fury, more destructive than a hundred cannons. Can work with this. There you go. Um. And they dodge. Healing for everybody. I, I hate it. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Soothed. Sedated. Okay, fine. Hit him in the face. This expedition oh, Lord, 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 Lord. success. I begin to question if this is worth it. Um, actually, you know what? You. You. Better. The light. The promise of safety. Lord. Well, the light could not possibly be higher. dislike it when you do that. Get the girl. And he's stealth again. It's a good thing I wasn't planning on guarding anybody. I can't use retribution. I I cannot actually I cannot. Okay then. This is very bad. Okay. Never hidden. 
You gotta go. Darn it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. How do I guard break? Can I guard break? And he's bleeding again. He's gonna have a heart attack and die, isn't he? Okay, okay. Hold it together, people. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I can't believe we ran into Talon twice. Ugh, what are the odds? Alright, let's let's take the the relic. A fortune waiting to be spent. Shut up, Ancestor. This is your fault. Uh Curio Curio. Oh man, there's two more. Okay, we eat something. We use the herbs on this one and pray for food. There's no food there. There's no food there. Oh man. Okay, so 1,250 1, versus 750 times 2, which is 15. That's more. I mean, it's very tempting to just leave <laughs> with the memory. <sighs> I was really hoping for food out of that fish, but I guess I'm just not that lucky right now. If we can make it into this last empty room that I can see, we can camp there and hopefully um, peel some stress off of people, but we're, we're definitely not going to be able to zilch it. More is the pity. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's, that's awful. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I don't want to go into this fight when, when he's that close to heart attack. I may still have to abandon this quest, but I am going to try. So we're going to camp right here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Uh, we will feast. Uh, we will... Oh... 
this this is actually good he has mortality debuffs and therefore he will also heal 25 percent stress from this or sorry 25 not percent i wish it were percent <sighs> all right sanctuary okay that's that's looking a little better that's Yeeg. Okay, uh, minus five. Okay, though, though there, nobody here is religious except for the Vestal, so that's no good. Uh, we have one, two, three encourages, although one of them is on him, which is not the best, but okay. Encouragement! Breathe in the sensor and recite the verses now! How he finds stress relief from that, I do not know. Okay. Encourage him! Dr. Ark, you say something soothing. Apply this ungent. It strengthens the will. Okay, so we still have four points. Uh... What what is what is my what is my course of action here? Um, do you have anything that peels stress? You do not. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna gamble, and we're gonna try tactics for the extra dodge. Key to a continued heartbeat is to move your feet! Okay, okay. Good night. Yeah, and you get stress. Okay, let me just rearrange things here. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. I still don't know how the rest of this dungeon is going to go. The stress is riding very high and I don't have any more bleeds. But we're going to try and take it as far as I can. Oh boy. Okay. Take the stress off. Dodge, yes. Dodging is good. Dodge! Yes, dodging is good. Uh... Oh no. Oh, I still don't have the stun equipped on Dr. Ark. Better. No! We're gonna get exploded on and everybody's gonna stress to hell. Why did you pass? Why did you pass? No! Not the revenge! I hate everything. <laughs> Blurred vision. The end approaches.
Okay, let's see. That's six damage. Okay. Continue the onslaught. That is the one I Destroy wanted you to hit, okay? Fall. That was the one I was gonna tell you to As hit. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, forget this other stuff. Oh boy. Okay, empty sack. Oh. Broom battle with treasure. That is not what I wanted. <sighs> All right, hit Another it with a minor. shovel until it falls down. Another misfortune. I don't have time to peel the stealth off of that. Oh boy, okay. Healing. I... Let's get some retribution going. Keep dodging, just keep dodging. Why aren't you dodging? Please dodge more. And he passes. More plague for you two. The ground quakes. Try and hold people together. Thank you for dodging. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this is so stressful for me. Okay, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. 25% is exactly what you should be getting because there are four people here. Shell would dodge better. Or just more. I, I would like. Oh. You know what? That if that's what you want, that's that's what you can have. Just That one is done. Okay. 
Ark has become abusive. The human mind. Fragile. Like a robin's egg. Retribution is my friend. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay. Uh, seven fifty three seven fifties versus one one thousand. I I know the I even my math is good enough to know that 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 the three is better than the one in this case. Uh, we're just gonna leave that chest the heck alone. I don't care what's in it. Oh. Why didn't we get a scout? I would have really liked to have had a scout. Oh, I'm really glad I turned the torch up. That's what I'm saying. I cannot spare the time to peel the stealth off of that. We need the healing. Alright, let's get some retribution going. Nice crit. I like not having to deal with the jelly. A singular strike. Nice. This is good. I like this. Wrong one dodged there. Light for everybody. Five and two, five and eleven, six and four. Okay, you. Oh. Oh. Interesting choices. Gone. Oh, you chose to buff him instead of heal him. That's unfortunate for you. Well, you caused the problem. You're going to fix it. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not being confident at all. I'm in a very bad situation here, and I would like for you to acknowledge that. Curio. Okay, that's okay. All right. Ah. 
55, 65, 60, 40, oh, at 100% light, oh lordy. Uh. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil oh. intent. 12 rounds. He's going to have a heart attack and die. Like, the only way that I could possibly complete this quest were if this were the quest thing instead of a curio. But it's just a curio. As soon as we turn around and start going back, he's going to get the, the... eight stress that he needs to reach 200, and that's going to be it. Of course, leaving might kill him too, so this this could get very interesting indeed, especially since he's got Volt's tassel. Mm. Okay. What we're gonna do is... We're going to give people all the food that they can hold to get them to full HP. I I need to discard. How how do I There we go. Okay. I'm going to throw those away. I'm going to throw those away. We're going to strip him. Also, I realized that when I went after the necromancer, I gave my natural grave robber trinkets, which nerfed her. And yeah, okay. He might die. He could die from the, the stress of retreat. But I don't see any way, like the, it's either he dies walking forward or he dies from the stress of retreat and the chance is that he might not die from retreating. So here goes. Wounds to be tended, lessons to be learned. He lives, he lives. He's alive! Okay, Adenel has developed Hylomania, which is terrible. Bretuil has become a ruin scrounger, replacing her lurker, which is all for the good. And Dr. Ark caught holotosis and has become a gambler. Oh, that's... that's really bad. Oh, that's... that's really bad. Back to town. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, if they're anything like my failings, uh, it's it's gonna be a, a whole ass thing. Okay, that's two soothsayers that I do not need. Okay, Louette, Conter, and Mustel have received the treatment that they needed. We had a nomad caravan come in. But by some sort of miracle, everyone's alive. But, uh... Okay, first of all, unequip all trinkets. Sort by character class. Okay. Ark. Dr. Ark. Paging Dr. Ark. We are yanking that gambler right out of you. Um, you. You have you have fun with that. 
I hope. Yes, all the shackles. You're a terrible person. You're not actually a terrible person. At least the person that you're named for is not a terrible person. Okay, uh, everybody else. Uh, well, you're pious and, and selfish, I guess. So let's, let's send you to pray. It seems right. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, where, where's my, where's my poor stressed out Vestal? I mean, we got another memory. We, we didn't, we didn't have a complete failure. Uh, let's see. Tough, beast hater, on guard, quick draw, ruin scrounder, bloodthirsty. Okay, you, you don't actually have strong feelings, so you are also going to pray just because you're a Vestal. The light is the one true power. Yep, that's, that sounds Vestally to me. Uh, skipping past Dr. Ark, who we will not be sending gambling. And... Uh, that's, that's Sacraville, that's, uh, ah, uh, here we are, Adenel. Uh, let's see here, Dacomania will not drink. You're, uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna send you to the brothel. I think you'll have lots of fun there. A hot bath and a companion to make it warmer. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, would you let me, thank you. Okay. We managed to not kill my bounty hunter. Yay. Okay, so Vestal, Grave Robber, Abomination, Leper, Man at Arms, Hellion, and Lamia. Still no Butcher or Houndsmaster. Unfortunate. Okay, there is time in the stream, I think, for one more dungeon run. Although first, let's finish filling up the sanitarium. Uh, oh, here, like, uh, the monk Fontemai, who should be pretty close to where we are, somewhere along the line became nocturnal. So that needs to be removed because nocturnal really doesn't work in my group. We keep the torch high around here. Um, hmm. No, and we're not going to be locking in Monk's mind, even though it would be thematically appropriate. All right, that's Fontemai. And then, oh, okay, the buried social justice. Where are my buried's? Social justice here has slow reflexes. We don't like that. We don't care about the enlightenment, but the slow reflexes, they need to go. So we will be taking those out. And yeah, that, that'll be that'll be it for that. Okay. We're making great progress through the list of things that need to be removed. Great progress. It's a pity I can't cure Dr. Ark of their diseases, but I really need to get rid of that gambling addiction. You know, before it gets locked in or I forget about it. Okay. And the thing from the stars is in the wield. So the last mission that we're going to be doing is in the wield. Uh, going to be getting an Eternity's Collar, which we already have, alas. But my people will not go on this orange quest, and I'm certainly not going on a boss quest where the, <laughs> where the thing from the stars is. So... Explore 90% of rooms it is. And... 
you know, I feel I feel like one of the I should take either Dufay or Caniagras out on this one. Uh, do you either which one of you has feelings about the wield, if either of you do? Uh Caniagras is tone deaf. Dufay Oh, Dufay, you are you are looking pretty good actually. Uh Hmm. All right, let's let's uh let's tuck you in right there. This is going to be fun. We're we're also going to take Orlevar here. I do not normally play the jesters from the second spot, but oh, uh, I can't do the battle ballad from here, huh? Or inspiring tune. That is that is pretty bad, actually. I don't like that at all. Um. Uh, the the main reason to bring a jester is for inspiring tune. If the jester cannot do inspiring tune, they're actually not useful to me. So, uh, Orlebar, you're actually going to be taking a rest for this one. You're not coming along. We're gonna bring one of the harlots instead, I think. Uh, let's see. You are a wield tactician, which is very tempting. You are a mankind hater and a beast slayer. You have feelings about the Warrens, but not about the Wield. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go for the Wield tactician. We we do have a concern about marked by the flock, but we're bringing a falconer anyway. So, and you you work in the second spot, right? Yeah, you're you're fine. You're fine. All right, Pennant, in you go. Um, Vestal or Druid? Druid or Vestal? I, th I feel like the Druid is more powerful. So let's, let's see, let's, uh, let's bring a Druid. Uh, do any of you have strong feelings about the wield? Let's see. Uh, none of you really have strong feelings about the wield. That's, that's fun. Uh, we're not going to bring a Kulen simply because of the marked by the flock. We're, we're already stacking the deck too far on that one. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna bring Chartres. In you go. And for the front... I, I kinda wanna bring Postal. As, as long as I don't back her up. Like the main problem would be shoving the uh, shoving the harlot forward, is absolutely something that uh, we don't want to happen. So I think I think uh, leaving the leaving her behind. Why don't we bring one of the Hellions? Loppy's lover is an Eldritch Slayer. Admittedly, she also has slow reflexes. It's a pity about the spiritualness, but I already chose to bring a, a druid. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's bring Loppy's lover. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think I think we can do something with this. Okay. Skill massage time. You have four camping skills. Your armor is... Your equipment is maxed. Are your skills maxed? Yes, they are. All right, you're spectacular. All right, Defay. Oh, wow, you, you need... There we go. And... Okay, you're at the highest level of armor that you can be. And you have three camping skills. Okay. Uh, accuracy and crit on range skills. Scouting chance. Produce a random amount of food. Hmm. Hmm. This, that's a tricky one. That's a tricky one to choose between. What are the other ones you've got? Accuracy while stealthed. Prevents nighttime. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, we're going to take Fletchery then. Yeah, I like that. All right. Scrolling, scrolling. All right, Pennant. Do you have... Yes, you... Oh, you have many. Okay. You have the maximum equipment. Do you have the maximum skills? You do. And we will double check Chartres, although I believe Chartres is together. Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. No, no, I'm not going after the drowned crew. Why do you keep trying to send me to the cove? What is this? All right. We are going after the thing from the stars, and we're also trying to explore a bunch of rooms. So what we're really hoping for is that everything is strung out in a nice straight line. That would be the best possible thing. All right, trinkets. Starting with the druid. We definitely want the scrying bowl. And... You know what? Um, we are going to take the sweet smelling herbs as well. Uh, we are, as before, we're going after the thing from the stars, so I'm not going to be giving people any heads or anything like that. Uh, simply because, well, just in case. We're, we're not going to have extra stressors hanging around here. Uh, we are going to give Dufay here Wolf's Tassel. I believe she can mark... And let's see what we got here. We've got Prey Stalker's Hood, uh, more damage and crit while stealthed, dodge at the cost of death blow resist, Trixie, uh, crit at the cost of accuracy, debuff skill chance, and speed. Okay, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna play it dangerous. We're gonna give her the Vagabond's Cloak for the extra dodge. And we're gonna pray for her soul. Okay, the harlot. Of course we're going to be sending her with the kinky boots. And what else? Uh, damage, crits received, chance, lesson, but... Oh, minus 10 dodge, that is. Oh, and the torch dies. Okay. Uh, stress healing... I uh, mean... Oh, here we go. Sultry love notes for blight resist, speed, and damage. And then the Hellion stuff is up closer to the top. Let's see here. Hell's okay. That's for that's for low light. 
that is uh, less stress and greater accuracy if the torch is high. Max HP at the cost of stun resist. You know what? Uh, we're going to give her Heaven's Hairpin in the hopes that um, she won't crack up on us. I, I don't like this the, the minus 20 stun resist, but we're going to take the double-edged pendant anyway. Because I want the extra HP. Okay. Alright, choices have been made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see how this goes. The thing has really been giving me difficulties tonight. Okay, food, shovels, and all the other things. Holy water, laud- I, no, I, I don't want all the keys. I, I want the laudanum there, actually. I only want like three of the keys, but I want all of the torches. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, let's go. The wheel is full of long winding paths. Bring plenty of torches. I did. I brought all the torches. Oh, and of course, as soon as I go to pick up my water bottle, it finishes. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Thanks, Ancestor. You're real helpful. Oh. Well, it definitely could be worse. Wish I'd gotten some scouting, though. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Yeah, yeah. Empty room, thank you. What's in the box? Packs laden with oh. loot are often low on supplies. Shut up, Ancestor. They're just stupid busts. The light, the promise of safety. Please let 88 be enough. Oh, it was. Cool. Room battle with treasure. Well, now I know where the fight is. And just before we reach it, we turn the up the torch. Is the path is clear. And it's grubs. We require only the strength to follow it. All right. Destroyed. Oh. Okay then. And let's get the mist going. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Oh man. Oh come on. Obliterated. And she's caught vampiric spirits right off. And now they're both stunned. This is an inauspicious beginning is what this is. Way that the skills Remind are laid yourself, out on the falconer. Is a slow and insidious killer. I'm gonna fix that. Just give me a sec. Turn that off. Turn that back on again. Now they're gonna be in slightly better order. All right, continuing onwards. The 
as the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And spiders. It had clear. to be spiders, of course. I hadn't fought them yet tonight. Oh. Oh, thanks. I hate it. Decimated. Oh, I do like me an iron swan. A singular strike. Missed, missed for everyone. That's that's just great. No. All right, missed him down. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, okay. Missed. Oh, man, why can I not hit anything? And carrying the party today. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I am so disappointed. Where's the money? <laughs> Walking, we're walking, we're walking. Oh, and it's Talon. Oh, and she started by guarding. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I have anybody who can break through stealth. in a single strike. Oh, Dufay sees right through it, apparently. What if I were to just... the repost. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this could be very bad. Um. She missed on the kiss of death. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Okay. Just keep misting them, just keep misting them. Slowly. 
Oh no. This is how a life is taken. I I don't know how to guard break. I don't I don't think I know how to guard break. Bypass stealth, debuff target, shuffle. No, she has she has no guard break. Well, that's that's horrifying. Okay, guards off, guards off. Okay, we good, we good. We we got it's done. We've done it. On its own. We just got to not kill the girl. Come on, girl. go foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud finally some money okay Okay. In radiance, may we find victory. Well, okay, who who is my traps person? Eighty, sixty, eighty, seventy. Well, you have more stress, so... There we go! The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright, we're going up. We're having a nosh. Oh, hi, you're not telling, thank goodness. Uh, you need to go. Goodness for everyone. All right. 
Yank you out of stealth, get you marked up. Iron Swan because I can. Gotta go. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, we put extra healing up over here. More bleeding, more bleeding. I thief him. Ooh. Nice crit. Weird location, but nice crit. Swan him! Okay, back to the mist for everybody. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Okay, okay, I can I can work with this. He dodged. A powerful blow. Good crit. Nice crit. I like the crit. Okay, fifth okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, he done. He done. The blood quickens. Take those and those and leave the portraits behind. What's in the tent? If only treasure oh. could staunch Interesting. the flow of okay. otherworldly corruption. Okay. Back down. No, I don't want the portraits. Now it must be carried home. In here. Down here. Back up. Switch out the busts for the jade. Okay, and now we take a very long walk back. Probably in the dark. Okay, fine, I'll take some more crests, I guess. Walking, walking, walking. Keeping an eye on the tiny, tiny little map to make sure that more fights and traps don't appear. Busts that I don't carry anymore. Walking, walking. Secret room. 
Okay, open that box. Switch those for the deeds. Like that. Continue walking. Now, question is, do I camp here, which is a bit early, admittedly, or do I use up some torches to uh, lighten things up for getting to that room battle? Eh, you know what? I'm a camp here. Gathered close. In tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Uh, we are very low stress, so I'm actually going to just do a full. All right, we're going to cleanse the campsite. which has nearly zilched all the stress, so life is good. Going to adjust the inventory. Thank you. Okay. It's buffin' time. Let's see. Sharpen spear for crit for four battles. Revel for the party to have less accuracy, less speed, less stress, and less stress taken. Battle Trance, 25% damage if in rank 1. Very tempting. Uh, you have Accuracy for yourself. Accuracy and Crit for a Companion. Um, disease, Blight, and Debuff resist for yourself and one Companion. And you have the Fletchery, which I just picked up. Uh, we have the Heightened Senses, which maybe I should have used. I could still use it. Mm, the extra dodge versus Talon is very tempting, but... Well, yeah, you know what, you... Yeah, you take Fletchery. Every arrow must be kept sharp, every feather must be kept fresh. Uh... You are always going to use protection with the... Actually, come to think of it, uh, Chartres, what does Vampiric Spirits do you? Oh, less debuff resist. Okay. So, if I use the always use protection with Chartres, that'll maybe protect her a bit? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's, I think that's the trick. Okay. Always use protection. Never leave home without one. Okay, we've got five points left. Battle Trance would be three. Uh, Wanton Whispers would be two. Although that... I've already gotten the buff on the Archer, so the Wanton Whispers would be a bit of a waste. Uh, loud grumbling. Hmm. Okay, okay. Battle trance. 
She's gonna chant up a storm. And then... Simply because I... Well... Mm. Yeah, Defey is going to encourage our druid and flatline her stress. They are predictable, easy to outsmart. Okay, that was an excellent use of points, I say. Have a nice nap. I'm sure nothing will creep up on you in the night. Okay. We shall continue exploring what's in the box. Oh goody, more crests. Oh, I have so many crests now. What a, I I don't actually know what I'm going to do with all these crests. Oh, this this is a terrible combo. I hate it very much. Thank you. Um I hate it. Oh, oh no. <sighs> All right, I thief that stealthed old woman. Missed for everybody. Everybody's marked now. That's that's spectacular. She has got to go. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, okay. Thankfully, I don't think anything here takes advantage of marks, so I hate it a lot. Uh, take her eyes. Spread the mist around. <laughs> I wish there was a way to get repost on a Hellion. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh... Um... What even is that? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, crit so there's no corpse, good. Uh, 
Okay. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. All right, now we can heal again. As victories mount, so too will resistance. That was actually kind of remarkably upsetting. We're going. Uh, we are rubbing the bones with herb and hoping for food. Yeah. Turning up the lights in the hopes of another scout? Yes! Okay, we are going to ignore the nubbin because there's no fight that way. Wealth beyond measure. Bit of gold, Awarded can't complain. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. We all have a nosh. We are going to continue adventuring because I'm still hopeful that we're going to find the thing. We're in a very good situation for finding the thing right now, so we're going to hope that this battle here is the thing. There we go. Bit of food. Get you up to full health. Okay, that's the square before the battle. We'll turn up the torch. Oh, you're not the thing, you're Talon! But at least you haven't got a hostage this time. Oh boy, how, how am I supposed to choose? Actually, it's not that difficult. Hello, big boy. Oh, he resisted the bleeding. I'm, I'm very sad. Masterfully executed. Missed. Um Yeah. Yeah, let's let's mark the sadist. Meaning ears. Blurred vision. The end approach. Bird is really annoying, but the sadist is really a problem since he gets two to hurt two um two goes around. So we would really like to remove him. Oh. The will to fight falters. That's weird. How quickly the tide turns. Oh well, she can prowl from there. Prowl girl. Why, why not? Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Well, that's new and horrifying.
Oh, of course he dodged. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unnerved. Unbalanced. The bigger the beast. The okay, good, the good. This is. Everybody's bleeding and it's terrible. Uh, can you? Oh, you can rain from there. You can rain from there! Whip! Oh, I should have prowled! I should have prowled! Oh, bad choices. This expedition at least promises success. That is so much stress that the harlot is carrying now. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. Scouting says... There is no battle in that hallway. The thing is not here. We're going home. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Shut up, Ancestor. Yay, Pennant, you're alive! You you got slow draw and steady, but you're alive. And you didn't crack up. Congratulations. Perhaps things are not as bad as they seem. <laughs> <sighs> Every day I mourn that your character and my character are related. One good week, and while the campaign continues to drag on, recent events have emboldened the standing roster. Confidence is reported to be at an all-time high. All idle heroes plus 200% stress healing received. Cool. Okay, so Adadel was distracted and misplaced a trinket. Well, he also engaged in Pleasures of the Flesh and recovered 100 stress, I suppose. Gretuil is filled with hope after communing with the Pyre Power. Oh, it would be good to take Gretuil out. I will have to make a note of that. Because, uh... Well, that, that was the last dungeon that I'm running tonight, so... Okay, Bretuil has hope for next run. So, uh, I'm just gonna make a note, less stress. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Also recovered 86 stress. Sacreville has impressed the abbot with piety and was given a trinket of flash fire gunpowder as a gift. Sacreville also recovered 86 stress and is no longer selfish. Social justice has a Fontamai and Dr. Ark have all been cured. We have extra stress healing for the week. And Pennant and Dufay both leveled up. Well done, ladies. 
Actually, come to think of it, now that I look at it, that was an all-girl party. That that was girl power on the move. <laughs> well done. Well, I did manage to get some more memories this week. I've got three now. That's awesome. Just seven more to go. Heroes will no longer suffer random hunger checks. All the food that I carry will be able to be used for healing. It'll be magical. I'll be able to go on longer runs. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, check the stagecoach. Soothsayer, bounty hunter, hellion, occultist, milkmaid, salamander, and occultist. Still no butcher or hounds, master. <sighs> Okay, stress relief. I know that they're getting extra healing, so, uh... Loppy's lover will be fine with her three stress. Dufay will be fine with her one bubble. Uh, the one that I am concerned about here is Pennant. It's way too much. And equip all trinkets. Sort by character class. Okay, pennant. Uh, no, you do not have any particular feelings about where you go, so you're going to the brothel, girl. Uh, please ignore the fact that the town crier's in the room next door. Okay, we're all agreed. Yep. Or oh, a safe word is it? Okay. Okay, and Dr. Ark. Oh, dear. Question is, do we cure your halitosis? Or do we send you for some much-needed stress relief? I think we should send you for some stress relief, and I'm gonna hope that you don't give her, you don't give pennant halitosis to the brothel with you, Dr. Ark. Fetch more pillows! All the pillows for Dr. Ark. Okay, and Shatras, I'm sorry you're not going to be idle this week. We're going to be taking care of your vampiric spirits there. There we go. Oh, it takes all the leeches, Shatras. All of them. Every last one. Okay, and who are the three other people? There are plenty of people who have no stress whatsoever, so it's not a problem to put them in. So, let's see here. Oh yes, bounty hunter must tell. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Well, you're a little bit stressed, but you'll be fine. You just go in there. We're gonna take out that Satanophobia. It's terrible. We don't like it anymore. We never liked it. Okay. Check that off. Uh, who is next on the list? Shieldbreaker Lores. Lores, Lores. Oh, wait, went the wrong way. Lores. Oh, Lores. Why are you hiding from me, Lores? There you are. Lores, your zoophobia. It's time for it to go. I'm just going to check that off. No more Zoophobia for you. Oh, the restraints are necessary for the treatment. Okay, and... Oh, back up to the top. Feckhamp, the Templar. You. That nocturnalness needs to go. We don't, uh, we, we don't, uh, wish to have it around anymore. 
check that off. Okay, that's three people in treatment. Everyone who needs extra stress relief is getting it. Everyone else is just going to have a really good week. And next week, well, we'll deal with some more problems. Many of which I've caused myself. We still haven't found replacements for the Butcher and the Houndsmaster who got killed last time I streamed. Uh, we're waiting for the Shrieker to show up because a bunch of trinkets have gone missing. And whatever the next mission is, I'm gonna have to send Brechuil on it, so uh, hopefully I'll remember to read my notes before I, you know... <laughs> we'll see. So, we are, we are getting there, though. I mean, I still have to replace those two people, and then I'm gonna have to level them up, but otherwise... The roster's really getting there. The majority of the roster is level 6 now. They're looking pretty good. There's still some people who, who need uh, assistance in various ways. The, the Garen in particular here. Oh, and uh, Vare probably could use it as well. Uh, we're, we're not really going to worry too much about the Vestals, to be honest. There's so many of them, the fact that I have lower level ones becomes much less of an issue. But yeah, we, we're looking pretty good. As I've, I've definitely got teams to be going after the bosses now. I just need those replacements and I need to pull more memories out of the thing from the stars because, well, let's face it, I don't want to go to the farm to get the memories from the sleeper. That's, that's a bad trip. It's a terrible trip and it's boring too. So, mm. in any case, this is a good situation. This is an excellent place to call it a night and pick up again next week. I'm feeling pretty good. This is... We, we had some close calls, but we didn't lose anybody this time. I call that, I call that a good night. So this is where I'm going to say good night. I'm just gonna, oh, it, okay, there we go. All right. And if you are interested in my previous streams of Darkest Dungeon and what I got up to and how my various people... <laughs> you... Hello, Shadow Slave. It's very nice to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's nearly 1.30 in the morning for me, so I, I've really got to stop streaming here. I, I'm very sorry that you, <laughs> that you missed the whole Darkest Dungeon there, but as I was just about to say, if you're interested in how I play Darkest Dungeon and, and what's going on and my mods and stuff, you can find my previous streams on my YouTube channel, which I've just linked to in the chat. There is a playlist there for Darkest Dungeon, so you don't have to go digging through everything if you're just looking for the one thing. In fact, there's a playlist there for anything that I have played twice or more, so it makes it really easy to find whatever it is you happen to be looking for at any given point in time. So uh, there's a lot of videos in there. I basically use it as an archive for all of my streams. Hundreds upon hundreds of hours to keep one busy until I stream again. And speaking of which, I will be back again on Sunday night, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3, which I really hope that I've fixed the, the issues that, that have been causing it to crash. There, there's three possibilities, and uh, two, one of them I have fixed. The other two I can't fix because one of them is the weather, and the other one is I might have gotten a bad patch. I might have to wait until the next patch before I can play Baldur's Gate, but I hopefully... Uh, the other thing was that the last time I updated my graphics drivers, it reset the graphics on the game to high, and also turned off my FPS choke. Uh, so... Um, it's possible that the game was crashing because my streaming software and the game were not sharing my processor and RAM like nice children. 
Uh, <laughs> And I fixed that problem, so I'm hoping that that is the actual problem. The third possibility is that it's simply my computer is overheating because of the weather, and I have no control over that. So I would really like for it to be the graphics that I have fixed. So we'll see whether or not Baldur's Gate 3 crashes this upcoming Sunday. Um, I will be trying to go after the apparently fake Paladins of Tyr, who uh, recently massacred a town that I'm standing nearby. Uh, and whether or not they're fake Paladins, I really hope they're fake Paladins in specific and in general, uh, because I don't want to be smote. But uh, I will be going after them simply for the whole massacring a town thing. You massacre a town, I massacre you. That's, that's the way it goes. Uh, I, I am the vengeance machine. So uh, that is the plan for uh, this upcoming Sunday, is to uh, go and find these town killers and show them what it feels like. <laughs> Then I will be back again on Monday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Two Point Campus for Management Monday. I will be continuing the school that I was working on the last time I streamed Two Point Campus, uh, which was a few weeks ago, it must be admitted, but the combo spy school and cooking school that I got started, and uh, hopefully getting some stars in that and advancing along there. Um, I'm not entirely certain how to do it, so I'm just going to have to experiment until I find a way, whatever that way may be, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find success together. Then, on Wednesday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be playing games with my friends, either Among Us, or Scribble It, or 100% Orange Juice, or maybe even some combination of the above. Among Us is the game that we play when we have the largest number of participants, and it must be admitted we haven't been able to get to it recently because summer is a very doldrums time. A lot of people tend to go on vacation in the summer. Uh, so, you know, that's the... Drawful 2 was free the other day on Steam. Yeah, oh, well, I, I guess I, my, I think I missed that, but uh, we do have Scribble It, which is also a free-to-play game. It's a sort of a Pictionary-style game where one person draws and everyone else tries to guess, and whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds wins the game. So I think that's similar, if not uh, the same sort of game. Uh, it is it is the game that we play when we don't quite have enough people for Among Us, but we have too many for 100% Orange Juice. And 100% Orange Juice is four players or less, uh, which is very specific. It is an anime Mario Party, basically, uh, where you run around on a, a board game. Uh, the dice hate everybody. There's cards, they change the rules, and every character has their own special power. <laughs> that changes the rules just for them. I will look into that and I will ping my friends if it's going to be free for more than just, you know, today until tomorrow afternoon, then uh, we might be able to, like, grab it en masse and be able to play it together, possibly. So I will look at that. Thank you very much for letting me know, Shadow. Where was I? Oh yes, uh, orange. I, I just finished talking about orange juice. And then on Wednesday, assuming that this heat wave has broken, uh, when my friends abandon me because they have day jobs that require them to be up in the morning, which I'm told requires you to sleep at night, which is this foreign concept to me. But in any case, they abandon me around 10.15 or 10.20 or so on Wednesday, and that's when I switch over to my solo Valheim server, uh, assuming that the weather will let me. I do not run Valheim during a heat wave because I have deep concerns for my computer and melting my graphics card. So uh, hopefully next on Wednesday, uh, the weather will let me play Valheim because I'm really looking forward to exploring some frost caves that I found in a mountain. So that is the plan. The next time I manage to play Valheim is to explore those frost caves. And then, next Thursday night, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be playing Darkest Dungeon for Try Not to Die Thursday. But Tower PC... I, I do have a Tower PC. Um, unfortunately, the solid side of said tower is the one that faces the place where I would actually be able to put a fan. So it's a little tricky to actually get a fan to go inside the tower without pulling the tower out into the floor where I run into it with my chair. Uh, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> 
the the case is the case is left-handed, but unfortunately, it's also on the left side of my desk. So uh, that was the only place it fit. <laughs> so uh, that is a little bit of a problem. I I I want to figure things out. I. Uh, I want the summer to end is what I want. Where was I? Oh yes, next Thursday night, I will be playing Darkest Dungeon for Try Not to Die Thursday, where I will be continuing to work on grinding up my roster, which is a task that is nearly complete, assuming that I find those replacements for the folks who recently got killed. Alas, poor butcher, poor houndsmaster. Gone forever, but not gone from my heart. Uh, still haven't found the replacements. Hopefully find their replacements, and also hunt down the thing from the stars and pull some more memories out of them so I don't have to go after the sleeper in the farm. I should probably go back to the farm just to get some more crystals so I can buy some more of the awesome crystal trinkets, but... Uh... So, that is the plan for the upcoming week uh, from, from, to, from today until next Thursday. All of the games that I'm going to be playing and what I plan to do in those games, as nebulous as those plans are due to various reasons. But, you know, whether or not I have a plan, I still have a lot of fun. And I hope that all of you had at least as much fun as I did tonight, uh, including you, Shadow. So I, I hope that whatever you were, you were doing that kept you from, from coming to the stream until now was a lot of fun. And I hope that you all have a great night and a great weekend. Good night. <laughs> Got the last five or ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Shadow. I I hope that um I hope that you are able to make it earlier for the next stream that you try to tune in for. It's uh it was nice to see you arrive. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope that you actually get to see some stream the next time you you come. Oh, back rooms. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that that will that's time consuming. I understand. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I am off. I hope you all have a great night and a great weekend. And I will see you on Sunday. I hope. Good night.